Hello everyone, this is Latasha Blanton from the Real South Africa Travel and Tourism. And you're gonna have the opportunity to travel with Phil Scott to... Sunny South Africa. You guys are gonna have the opportunity to come to Johannesburg and you guys are gonna be coming to Durban. And we're gonna set it up perfectly. It's gonna be like a luxury experience for you guys. At the same time, you're gonna be getting some culture. And of course, you're gonna get an opportunity to talk to Phil, hang out with Phil, and get his views on Africa and South Africa. You're also gonna get an opportunity to explore the lifestyles here that are available in South Africa. And we're gonna do all that for you in an amazing 10 days. We do hope that you go to the website and book because we do look forward to seeing you here. Absolutely, our website is therealsouthafrica.com. Go there, scroll down, you'll see a picture of Phil and just go ahead and book there. So we'll see you here in what we like to call sunny, sunny South, South Africa. Africa. And this is why, my African brothers and sisters, we should never accept loans, aids, support from Western countries because it always ends up backfiring. The United States just announced that they are evicting Gabon, Niger, Uganda, and Central African Republic from the African Growth and Opportunity Act, also known as AGOA. AGOA was launched in 2000 and it grants exports from qualifying countries duty-free access to the US market. And as we all know, nothing from the West comes for free. No favor is going to be given to you because they're just kind. They just have good hearts. By they, I mean the government. This is expected, obviously, and these countries are not the first ones to be kicked out of this trade agreement. If you remember, we talked about Ethiopia getting kicked out just a few years back. The Biden administration does it again. Now they're trying to target Ethiopia in a different way. They have decided that starting January 2022, they are going to remove Ethiopia from the AGOA free trade. Watch this clip, we'll come back and discuss. This is gonna affect, not the government, this is gonna affect the civilians. I have family, like I have baby, so this job is for me, it's like everything. It's three customers left, Levi's and uh, Walmart, already given the exit plan. We are thinking we are lost, this too. Uh, in future, we don't have a work like that. Because the people of Ethiopia and the government refused to bow down to the US government's request. So even this four countries, every country has a specific reason why they're being kicked out. For example, Uganda. As we talked about it here on this channel before, with the LGBTQ bill being passed, US was clearly not happy about it. That is a revenge towards that. Secondly, Central African Republic, the same thing. They claim that there is human rights violations and the US doesn't stand for it, so that's why they are kicking them out. And as for Gabon and Niger, it's because of the coup. These countries had Western ally leaders, they were overthrown, and now the West is mad because who are they going to puppeteer? Who are they going to manipulate and use and pay up so they can do their bidding, right? So Gabon and Niger are being kicked out because of the recent coup. So there you have it, the US government has kicked out these four countries and that's the reason that they've given. Anyways fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.